My name is Alexander, and today we're gonna capture Manila, my a homeland, almighty Filipino city. Okay, would you look at at, at here? Seems to me that we have a lot of great generals. Maybe we should continue this precious golden age we ha are having. That should really double our culture and and gold input. Whoa, that is a lot of happiness within two turns. I mean, last turn ago, I have had a lot of happiness. Yeah, for, because I had the near Winchenstein, and, and and the fact that I am building theaters and courthouses, I'm getting a lot of happiness. My, oh my gosh! I'm just gonna. Uh, I think I'm gonna consider trading all these luxuries off to the uh, Legion of Mark Kane here. Raisin Kane's. It really likes luxuries. Besides, it's it's good for their business in well selling in their light uh, finger licking good chickens. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we have two great artists. We can either create landmarks or we can start golden ages. This landmarks in the long term is gonna give us a lot of culture, but a golden age is not gonna last long. I'm tempting to get have two. Le I'm tempting to get. I feel very tempted to get like t two landmarks. S you know what? Let's just get at landmarks. It it's gonna uh, boost our culture input. And culture equals si will equal science. Since we're getting all these scientific policies, we're gonna go down trade in unions and entrepreneurship to get at science from every uh, yeah, economic building. If I'm feeling good about happiness, then I'm gonna I go for sovereignty. Scientific revolution. I don't know. Oh, there's no civilization that's way ahead of me in tech, tech yet, so you don't need it. And then I'll, I'll go down the freedom tree and complete it. I haven't researched radio, so I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm probably not going to get the Eiffel Tower very soon, nor I will, will get broadcast towers it's until I get rocketry and lasers. I don't know how anyone would like to beeline straight towards t nanotechnology. Oh my gosh, we have lasers! And it costs this much to upgrade into a mirror. Yeah, we're gonna need the... Yeah, we're gonna need the, the Pentagon real quick. Okay, because we are gonna need, need to up. Upgrade some expensive unit into Merv. Either that or we can just it's work them via production. I mean, if it costs this much to upgrade into a Merv, then is it really worth getting this cavalry? Okay, next up on the list on B lining is rocketry. Oh, oh my goodness. If we have like at least one mare unit, yeah, this is really gonna break the game. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna go to Kuwait City and then upgrade this cavalry into a mirror. Oh, this is gonna feel so broken. Okay, our open borders to the steel talent is almost up. So, I'm actually going to consider declaring war on them on this turn. But first, I gotta take all of their gold away. <laughs> Time to declare war and see how this war will go. 
full miserable you'll be crushed by this country's magnificent and scientific power. Is the steel talents actually a reskin of Korea? I think it is. It is a reskin of Korea. Okay, so well, we need to be careful here because uh, due to the sheer amount of military strength the AI has, there's, there's a pretty good chance that, that our, one of our youths will get destroyed if we don't play our cards right, so we're gonna need to oh, play things smart here. <coughs> there's a chance we might eat destroy this artillery, but this destroyer might also get destroyed. I mean, in the next thing you know, there will be a bunch of units trying to pass through this mountain pass. I mean, look at the amount of force the Steel Talent has compared to the GDI. He, I'm gonna at least play things safe and just straight up attack Manila. I'm also gonna attack like this artillery by this anti-aircraft gun. I'm also gonna attack Manila with this artillery. I'm also gonna at attack Man Manila here with, with these machine guns. There's a fort gonna be built here in the next turn so this scene's gonna be safe. So I'm gonna attack. Yeah, I'm gonna need to be really cautious. It's because it's, it's, there's a chance we might lose, lose a unit, and if we lose a unit, it's gonna be really, really detrimental to us. Okay, since we you know, we have a OP destroyer, and now we have Logistics 3, we're gonna have Mobility. Here and then boarding party one through three. Hey, that's what we're gonna have for this destroyer. Huh? So I know that the GDI have subs, so oh, I'm gonna need, need to oh, protect my hey, destroyers here because they're, they're the only method of, of destroying in these submarines. I'm also gonna need to rely on on the amount of logistics like, the great generals can do across some of these tiles because it's, it will give us intel to where the submarines are. There's pesky artillery trying to destroy my destroyers, eh? Well, guess what? I I, I can also destroy your artillery. This is one big brain moment. <laughs> Jeez, is it just me or these turns are taking a very long time to load? Okay, attention has been diverted to the, uh, these destroyers apparently. I wonder uh, what will happen if I actually hit. Capture this city. <laughs> yeah, these artillery are gonna be pretty experienced. I'm gonna actually. There's a really high chance that I will get at, at, at the logistics X promotion and in literally each of them. <laughs> Can't wait until I get the Merv <laughs> right after I build the Pentagon. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is gonna feel really broken. <laughs> Okay, so, well, in all these cities, I'm gonna need to work happiness, like, a lot here, also called, sure, but mostly happiness, because as we're gonna drop, we're gonna be capturing a lot of cities, which will plunge us into happen unhappiness a lot in this playthrough. Is it just me, or, or are, are these, these artillery who are just trying to attack my destroyers? Seems counterproductive. Hmm. 
I'm gonna capture Manila with this. I'm gonna actually capture Manila with this destroyer since it's low on health, and it and I made the game crash. <laughs> oh my goodness! Hopefully my. Hopefully, turn two two seven can actually load. <laughs> oh, okay, so oh, I'm gonna ca uh, use my artillery and then capture Manila, and then uh, with my weak destroyer here. This destroyer really deserves rest, and I'm gonna. I'm not gonna p a pillage this. This fish top because it's a waste of one turn of production. Besides, we can always heal with these destroyers. I'm gonna uh, attack with this great war infantry and then fortify. <laughs> Why is the AI trying to attack my destroyers again? You know what? I'm actually gonna, gonna I keep these destroyers safe for now. Well, in case if they he gets to one of them. Pop it. Yep, we are definitely depressed. Hey, at least we have two Manilas. We have the Philippines and the Philip and the Philippines. <laughs> this feels all confusing to say. Extend Golden Age. Hey, I was about to extend the Golden Age, not create a Citadel. Come on, game, I was trying to oh, oh, extend my Golden Age, it's not create a Citadel. Oh, oh great, now I got to reload, save, start Golden Age. <laughs> your citizens have been happy with your role for so long, yeah, I won't say that. <laughs> to be honest, my citizens are very unhappy. <laughs> My empire has entered the golden age for some reason. <laughs> That's the five logic. Right to ya. Okay, so the steel talents are the weakest force in the world now. By like one and minor <laughs> strength difference. Okay, if judging from the logistics here, it seems like the GDI have retreated to oh, uh, wa likely Washington. I mean, I'm totally not gonna sit, sit on this citadel for nothing. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna need to move, like, all of my artillery and workers to the area. I can attack Beijing with... At the machine gun here. Apparently, the Hemji Castle is still active <laughs> in this area. <laughs> How about I send out a great general? Huh. Yeah, th uh, be that took that did a number on Beijing. <laughs> yeah, the Merv is gonna uh, be really expensive to upgrade since I he don't have tanks prior. <laughs> I'm gonna use. I'm gonna send down out my machine guns and see. I you know very well that the AI is gonna try me and and lure units in and destroy to destroy them. So I predict I think that they're gonna go for the weakest this ranged unit out of the bunch, which is gonna be this ranged unit, so I'm gonna send my worker over here, right here to oh, p build a fort, or I can just sit on the cit citadel and fortify. <laughs> What's gonna happen next? <laughs> oh look, a submarine has been spotted in my territory. And you dare try to oh, destroy my precious units, eh? My precious, precious... As destroyers? Well, you're the 
going to be the one that's going to be destroyed. So, so I presume it's going to be time to build a fort on on this his coal grassland tile. Attack, then fortify and heal. I am gonna need to keep this unit safe and sound. I'm not gonna go on this tile here since since I know that this citadel's gonna try and attack it. <laughs> Set up, up, maneuver, and logistics. <laughs> okay, what did I just say? <laughs> I'm just moving my units around. Okay, so, oh, I'm gonna set up my artillery here and here, and then I surround this city with at three my own units. Upgrade at least one of of these cavalry into a merv after her, I get the he pentagon. <laughs> And then uh, I'm gonna build railroads to Kuwait City. I mean, Kuwait City is an actual place. Yunsub Gang ha he has said that, that all these city names are based on city capitals. I'm actually gonna fortify with. and then. and pillage with this. Pillage this tile, and then I continue working upwards. I'm not wasting any t it turns away by doing this. It's gonna uh, fully heal my unit, and then and then, uh, and upwards gonna be built in four turns. We have lasers and rocketry. I'm gonna get refrigeration and and go straight towards plastics for scientific and happiness. We. And I'm gonna go straight to the refrigeration for the stadium and submarine. I upgrade one of these units to rocket artillery. Oh, I'm. You know that these two units are gonna be the uh, logistics units, so I'm gonna hold off on on the. And plus, the, the Pentagon's about to be built, so I'm I'm gonna hold off on the promotions. What do you need? A peace tree? <laughs> Wait a minute, Unicef Gaming actually changed in the description of the no in negotiate peace. <laughs> oh, this is really noticeable. Hmm, should I attack this care oh, with this very, very healed oh, destroyer? Or is this a trap? Hmm. I mean, I know that Scarable was gonna survive, but but submarines in Scanary submarines have a bonus against the attackers. Their strength is 35. Range strength is 60. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna need to ke oh, keep you safe. No, thank you. I'm gonna use these destroyers to defend myself against submarines.
Okay, so apparently I've been inside for the last couple of minutes. It's, I think I can edit, edit that out. When you want to attack my caravel, hey? Guess what? You, you ain't doing it. Okay, so I, oh, I'm on a citadel, and yet I'm attacked by a citadel next to a citadel. Okay, game. Okay. And this city is mine. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Okay, so how many Beijings do we have? We have one Be Beijing. I thought we were going to have two Beijings due to the amount of cities we have. Okay, so well, what social policy are we going to get? We're well, how, how much gold are we going to get? Oh my gosh. This is the uh, gold we have with trade units. Oh. <laughs> that is a lot of gold per turn. <laughs> yeah, commerce is a really strong policy. <laughs> hey, oh my gosh. Yeah, my sub up now requires me to go down commerce, mercantilism, and then straight down towards rationalism tree. I can't wait until I can get to entrepreneurship and freedom completion tree. Is it just me or are the is Joshua here really incompetent at war? Because I think he's focusing on this northern front rather than this southern front. Maybe that gives me an idea. How about I attack like Manila number three from here and then skill oh down straight from there. In 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 the British Isles, conquest is so swift that that you can, who can barely see your units. It's move will pass by any and all the conquered cities. <laughs> okay, that was poor LM, LMG <laughs> execution. Okay, I'm currently moving on to Muscovy. But do I want to go straight towards Washington while I'm at it? It's uh, also how many turns until we get at the Pentagon? Like two turns. Okay, in two turns I'm, I'm gonna see how this conquest is really, really gonna go. And the Steel Talons should already be trying to beg for mercy. At this point, I really don't get how. Oh, oh wait. Everyone is not scared of me. I really don't get why. Yeah, I'm literally is swiftly you know, conquering everyone else and literally no one else is actually afraid of, of me conquering the entire world. I mean, this is a command and conquer mod and these, the AI here isn't even afraid of me. The AI is so... Incompetitive, incompetently incomp incompetitiveness. Oh my gosh! You know what? I'm gonna skip skip like at least two turns until we get the Pentagon. That's when we see the ball rolling in so much here. Finally, some action in here from the AI. They're at least trying to do something for once. They're actually trying to destroy Great War Infantry. I mean, how much of a force do, does the, the Steel Towns have? Yeah, they're pretty here. We militaristically, but, but we will only find a way around it. And that way around it is by a command. And, and conquer. Also happiness, but mainly commanding and conquering in lands. In preparing for battle, I always found that plans are useless, but planning is indispensable. Thanks, Dwight D. Eisenhower. Now I can <laughs> upgrade these merbs very cheaply. It oh my god!
<laughs> we can steamroll all, all, all the cities. Oh my gosh. Wait, 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 wait. I, I actually got, I gotta upgrade all this cavalry and, yeah, and rocket artillery first. <laughs> Oh, oh my goodness, we are gonna steamroll all over the place. Oh my gosh. Hush. These marbs are gonna break the game. Oh my gosh. I wonder how much the game is gonna break with the Merv at hands. We're just gonna need to work on happiness a lot in order to keep our conquest momentum with these Merv's. Wait a minute, can we solo conquer the British Isles with these Merv's? Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's, it's good thing to know that these Merv's are slow. But uh, the sheer fact that they are really, really powerful doesn't make up uh, for the fact that they are really, really broken. <laughs> and then, oh! <laughs> Oh, I can't wait to try these marvels <laughs> out. Oh, lo loyal viewers, yeah. Yes, I, I'm gonna be reasonably excited to steamroll the AI. He, oh, <laughs> I'm gonna fortify this dude. I'm, I'm gonna remove this anti-aircraft gun. And puppet. And I can't upgrade this artillery. Eh, not, not too bad. And we can just attack with this, this artillery, like, right here. To maximize the amount of damage we're gonna have on this turn. Well, it looks like we have two Beijings now. <laughs> The steel talents have steel, have steel the hold my territory. I get steel talents, steel <laughs> jokes. Guess what? That's steel talents. I can also all steal territory too. Who? <laughs> yeah, I bet this is one of the reasons why G. Hey Jesus has said it not will be like take the enemy. <laughs> okay, so oh can we steamroll Washington? Oh, yes, we can steamroll Washington. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> oh my gosh. We're actually steamrolling the AI. How unhappy are we? Yes, we are unhappy, but we can still steamroll. <laughs> Oh my god, no. <laughs> oh my gosh. I need more Marvin's... Mo Marv is strength. Marv is life. Marv is love. <laughs> we... He must conquer... Well, with the... Him, his lovely, lovely broken Marv's we have. Okay, we're gonna trade with the GDI here and steamroll all, all over them like it's nothing. <laughs> Declare war. Ha, try to fend off a you know, um, of nations around the world by yourself. Yeah, I don't see how you're around the world. Oh, GDI, you're just a, blo a bloody area of city states. Uh. Oh, <laughs> we captured New Delhi like it was just nothing. We just legitimately did a civilization and revolution walk. Well, it's safe to say that had the Marvs that had the game and along with potentially the other modders have put in, in this mod. Of all the unique units we have here. It's safe to say that the, the Marvin, the Merv, or how do you pronounce it, is utterly broken. <laughs>
Unique to the Black Hand replaces Machine Gun. And he has a 100% strength against melee. Oh my gosh. It's, and it's slightly weaker than a Machine Gun because of all these bonuses. But uh, yeah, all these units, it might be too strong for balancing in purposes. There might need to be a, a a bit of a tone down with all these abilities. <laughs> His sense of gaming. <laughs> yeah, I just discovered how broken <laughs> much of these units are. Well, it's safe to see that, that this mod has very, very broken unit. It's to... Ch it's, I mean, try this... Try a game with it's someone and that has a bonus against cities. And you're gonna be steamrolling in the late game. <laughs> on... And even on DD, <laughs> oh my god! This, <clears throat> I mean, if you try someone, some unit like the mayor or M A R or V, then you're definitely gonna steamroll like, like you have a late game battering ram. <laughs> <coughs> Speaking of battering rams, when is Attila gonna uh, be included in the game? But anyways, he's. It's, I hope you like this video. It's the beginning of a, a huge steamroll against the AI. Please make sure to like and subscribe and see you guys next time. Goodbye.